Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, solve a numerical which is a uh, finding uh, the highest and lowest temperature and counted by an ant on a metal plate. So the numerical says that the temperature at the point uh, any point x y on a metal plate is given by this relation. Okay. So if you change x y values you will get the temperature at different points on the metal plate and uh, an ant on the metal plate walks around this circle of radius 5 centered at origin. So what are the highest and lowest temperatures and counted by the ant at uh, it walks around this circle. Okay. So basically we have to uh, locate the highest and lowest temperatures on the metal plate uh, but restricted to only the points on the circle. Okay. So if you have a metal plate and there is a uh, ant moving say along this circle so uh, what are the possible points on this circle where we have the highest temperature and the lowest temperature. Okay. So we will uh, use the method of Lagrange's multiplier which says that if you have to maximize or minimize okay, uh, any function subject to a constant condition say single condition then we can uh, utilize the Lagrange multiplier formula that we can solve this system of equations along with the condition g equal to 0. Okay. So if we solve these equations for the values of x, y and lambda then those points or values will be the critical values where the function can have the maxima or minima. Okay. So here uh, the function is t which is to be maximized or minimized we have to find the highest and lowest temperature so we have to find the maximum and minimum value of this okay 4x square minus 4xy plus y square and uh, it is subject that this temperature maximum or minimum value we have to find only on the circle okay so it is subject to the condition that uh, the equation of circle is there okay so x square plus y square is equal to r square okay, because the circle is centered at origin and radius is 5 so equals to 25 okay so this is our g is equal to 0 right this condition right and uh, uh, we have to find the maximum of f which is t here okay so basically if we calculate the gradient of t that means the uh, x y derivative of this in i and j direction so that uh, say we can write uh, the x derivative of this is 8 times x minus 4 y i cap plus the derivative along the second direction uh, so that's uh, like 2 y minus 4 x okay j and also if we calculate the gradient of g okay so the gradient of this condition okay so a gradient of g where g is x square plus y square minus 25 okay so it is 2 times x i plus 2 times y j and so if we uh, equate this gradient of t equals to lambda times gradient g okay gradient t equals lambda times gradient g where lambda is a Lagrange multiplier and uh, then equate uh, on both sides the components of interaction of i j then clearly and this 8x minus 4y it will be equal to 2x times lambda okay so we have one equation that uh, 8x minus 4y equals to 2 lambda x and similarly the components of y so this minus of 4x plus 2y must be equal to the lambda times this so that's 2 lambda y 
and uh, uh, the constant condition also need to be retained so that's this x square plus y square equals to 25 so clearly you can see that we have three equations in three unknowns x y and lambda so we have to solve these three equations to find out the possible points x y okay so uh, if you look at the first two equations here uh, so if I multiply the second equation by 2 and add to first equation then 8x minus 8x will be 0 minus 4y plus 4y will be 0 and 2 lambda x plus 2 times this so 4 lambda y so uh, this immediately gives 2 lambda x plus 4 lambda y equals to 0 or you can say 2 lambda outside so that's x plus 2y equals to 0 and uh, so either lambda equals 0 or uh, x equals minus 2y okay so we have two cases here okay so let us take case 1 when lambda equals 0 so if lambda equals 0 then back from the equation either this or this if lambda is 0 then clearly 8x minus 4y is 0 means uh, y equals 2 times x okay so y equals 2 times x and uh, so if I put this in the constraint condition then I can immediately calculate x and y points so if y is 2 times x so this becomes y square becomes 4x square plus x square so 5x square equal to 25 so x square will be equal to 5 and which means x will give us value plus minus root of 5 and uh, so if x is plus minus root 5 then because y is 2 times x so y is plus minus 2 root 5 okay so we get two critical points here okay if x is positive root 5 then y is positive 2 root 5 and if x is negative root 5 then y is negative 2 root 5 okay so these two critical points okay in case 1 and uh, so you take the second case okay uh, when case one was when lambda equals zero now the second case is when x equals minus two y okay so when x equals minus two y then immediately from the constant condition x is minus two y so x equals the x square will become four y square so five y square is 25 and so we can calculate y as uh, plus minus root of 5 is plus minus root 5 and uh, if y is plus root 5 then x is minus 2 root 5 okay so x is minus 2 root 5 and if y is minus root 5 then x is plus root 2 root 5 okay so what we have is uh, uh, critical points again here as when x is minus 2 root 5 y is root 5 and when x is plus 2 root 5 y is negative root 5 so two critical points here okay critical points now we only need to see what is the t value at these points okay so if you calculate the t values at these four points that will tell you uh, where the temperature is maximum and where it is minimum okay so if i calculate uh, the temperature value at root 5 comma 2 root 5 which is this first critical point so when x is root 5 so this 5 for the 20 y is 2 root 5 so that gives a 4 5 again 20 so that 
40 minus 4 times root 5 into 2 root 5 so uh, that's again 40 so the value is I guess exactly 0 okay and if I calculate the temperature at minus of root 5 comma minus of 2 root 5 that's the second critical point this and so if I put x as minus root 5 y as minus of 2 root 5 so square is same y square is same and product is again x y product is again same okay so I guess we will get uh, the same zero value uh, temperature at third critical point which is uh, say minus of 2 root 5 comma root 5 So when x is negative to root 5 then 4x square will be okay, 1680 and y square is 5 so 85 and this value xy product is minus 10 so this becomes plus 40 we will get is uh, uh, 125 okay and similarly the fourth point 2 root 5 comma minus root 5 this uh, x square y square and x y product are similar okay so again it will give the same value 125 okay so clearly you see that uh, these two points are giving uh, the maximum 125 value and these two points are giving the uh, minimum lower lowest temperature 0 degree okay so uh, root 5 to root 5 okay if, if you have this a circle with centered at origin then uh, uh, root 5 to root 5 somewhere around here you will have a 0 degree temperature and on the negative negative opposite side here you have a 0 degree temperature and uh, negative positive okay so on this side somewhere here you have 125 degree and on this side okay 125 degree temperature which uh, the ant will encounter while moving along the circle okay. so this was the uh, numerical okay. good day